Hey guys, starting this video off with a sad announcement. I have decided to end my relationship with the baddest in oh. I know. I know. Like most people say, good things don't last. Um, but as they also say, when one door closes, the DC gods open up a huge cathedral. Yeah, baby. I am telling you there's a new Batman already and I am so thankful. That's right. Legendary Keanu Reeves is now the Batman. <laughs> I can't do this with a straight face. That's right. We're talking Mr. Anderson. We are talking John Wick, we are talking MF Johnny Silverhand, and now he gets to be the one and only Bruce Wayne. I am head over heels <laughs> just making this the DC channel now. <laughs> now granted, he is it is an animated form, and as we know, no one can surpass uh, the only person who matters in animated form, Kevin Conroy, but I think Keanu Reeves is a close second when it comes to animated Batman, and now has been elevated to number one when it comes to overall Batman, right underneath Adam West, and then right underneath uh, Robert Pattinson, and then right underneath Val Kilmer, and then George Clooney, and then Christian Bale. <laughs> For legal reasons, that's a joke. Uh <laughs> Yeah, but Keanu Reeves and DC Super Pets, I, I saw the trailer twice, I kind of just tuned it out uh, when it was airing, uh, or when they rolled the tape during the Batman, and you know, you see trailers all the time online now, so it's kind of like when you see trailers in the movie theater, it's not as cool, but it still looks fun, so I'm gonna kind of watch this clip and <laughs> we, can, we can rate Keanu Reeves ourselves. Okay. So, Another summer you blockbuster. are a dog. I am the Batman. I'm not really great with animals. Yeah, I'm not really great with people. Probably because of my I'm not a... Uh, as a child, my family Kevin was taken from me. As a puppy, I was taken from my family. So I steal myself. My emotions always in check. No, no one, one ever getting past my impenetrable defenses. Yeah, what the heck? Batman oh, dog lover! Uh, do away Johnson, baby! Every day. You literally worship the ground that dude walks on. Technically, he flies. It's, I like the pig. Batman works alone, except for Robin. And Alfred, Commissioner Gordon, my IT crew, whoever Morgan Freeman played. What do I have <laughs> I love here? that joke. <gasps> Squeezy Bruce! Squeezy what? That yeah, baby! Toy Look at that. Oh my goodness. I just interrupted the joke, but... This is the goat, baby. Freak out. Only in theaters. <laughs> so, there you have it. We are, this is history unfolding right before your eyes, people. Even in serious situations, Batman never fails to be funny without trying. I mean, I mean, look at this. Tell me that's not, look at that face and tell me that's not funny. <laughs> This is DC's answer to everyone that says DCs are dark. As a comics fan, I love this film change of theme. I mean, to be honest, yeah, DC can be dark, but I mean, they also know how to play. I wouldn't necessarily say they're only dark. I mean, listen, sh have you seen Shazam? Have you seen, this is really giving me <laughs> Lego Batman. Um, and I love when you know these movies and tv shows can be self-aware like lego batman was obviously probably the most self-aware oh my god <laughs> that was a bot <laughs> with a bad image anyway yeah dc likes to have fun have you seen peacemaker and what i loved about james gunn is that he in that show was able to poke fun at like all the stupid i mean first of all what is a peacemaker um but just even some more of the more obscure dc characters he's like i'm gonna call them all out and i'm sure marvel does the same thing but they maybe weren't afforded the same fourth wall breaking uh at least maybe when he was making guardians of the galaxy so deadpool does it so <laughs> this is kind of like their their attempt at 
I would say it's giving like the life of pets meets Coco Melon beats DC. <laughs> but no, it looks pretty cool in the cast. I mean, obviously, this is the 2020s. Gotta have Dwayne Johnson. Kevin Hart, okay, he's, he's still he's still relevant. Ugh, oh, my heart, Natasha. Vanessa Bayer, oh snap. Diego Luna, John Krasinski is super. How did I not realize that? How did I not realize that? Oh my god, MCU fanboys who wanted John Krasinski to be Mr. Fantastic. That ain't happening. He's Superman now. This is, can this is canon. Kate McKinnon unveiled Mark Marone as Lex Luthor. <sighs> my heart is Batman. Dasha Polanco is the Green Lancer? From Orange is the New Black? We got a reunion. Jamila Jamil, Ben Schwartz, Thomas Middleditch. Oh my god. This is an all-star cast, do you see? At first, I wasn't interested in seeing this. I think I saw the first trailer when DC Fandom was around. And it looked kind of dumb to me. <laughs> like, you know, FedEx, of course, the Federation of X's, not to be trusted. What is taking my home? I mean, yeah, it, it does look kind of cheesy. Like, it, 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 but I don't think I've seen this trailer. Copyright music. <laughs> the squirrel's got electric powers. It's copyright music. But no, no, no. Yeah, it looks funny. Um, when is this coming out? May 2022? Oh, May 20th. Okay. I don't know if I'll see this in the theaters, but it it only takes a you know, maybe two months or so for this to come on HBO Max, and then you'll get my review. I don't know if I'm going to rush into theaters to see this, um, even if it is for my beloved Keanu Reeves, but it looks cute. It's a step, it's a step in the right direction for DC to continue uh, rebuilding and renewing. When I was a kid, I remember there was a show called Crypto the Super Dog that used to come on WB Kids every Saturday. The trailer unlocks any memories. Yeah, I do. That's now I have to look that up. To be honest, WB really used to have a hold <laughs> on my generation, WB Kids. Like I was just thinking, I was like between I think I think I remember this. When did it come out? 2005. Eh, it might have been a little... Uh, but like between, okay, the Justice League series, which I think the animated series which came on mostly Cartoon Network, the Batman animated series, uh, Batman Beyond, Static Shock, which we need a live action for. DC was really, really working it. So... This is nice. I, I haven't had the time to appreciate DC in a really, really long time unless I'm like at Six Flags or something. <laughs> okay, before I close this out, I'm curious, who has more acting credits? Keanu Reeves or Dwayne Johnson? <laughs> this is gonna really prove who's the GOAT of all time. The greatest GOAT of all time. 108? Not bad, not bad. Okay, Keanu Reeves. Dwayne Johnson? 92. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Considering Keanu Reeves has been working since 1984 as an actor, and you've got some TV appearances. Okay, yeah, yeah, these are all acting. Dwayne Johnson, his earliest credit is 1996. Wrestling, ah, I wouldn't count WrestleMania. I feel like that doesn't count. Okay. He's got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're really not gonna start his acting career till maybe, let's say, eh, the Star Trek can count. Or where's The Mummy Returns? I would say like here, to be honest, but that's really, <laughs> he's really closing the gap. So when I give it like five more years and he's gonna surpass Keanu Reeves and then 
I guess I'll have to simp for him. There's no, there's no other option. So I should stop talking. <laughs> Go see DC League of Super Pets <laughs> on May 20th. It should be a good movie. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to subscribe for more epic DC and superhero content. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>